What's up? My favorite shining stars. I hope you're shining bright. Not letting anybody dim that light. Uh, hold on. Like I said, I hope you're shining bright. Not letting anybody dim that light. My name is Trinity and welcome to my my channel. All about the healing. Thank you, thank you, thank you to my ride and dice. It's been rocking with me from the beginning of my time. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mwah, mwah, mwah to you. Much love and respect. Mwah, mwah, mwah. For my new subscribers, I'm honored and welcome to the family. Mwah, mwah, mwah. To my energy exchange, donations, tips, whatever you want to call it. I thank you. It's right back at you, 10, 20, 100 fold. What you sow on this channel, you shall reap one way or another. Right? All right. On the flip side. For those of you that's just checking in or getting a check in to see if I'm broke, busted, and disgusted because of some energy that you're projecting to me, just know that that is not the case. I'm still on my throne. I'm still sitting pretty. I'm still in my power, my anointed I, I am anointed and appointed and I'm standing in that. You have nothing. You have no permission. You have no power over me, my life, my circumstances. All that that you're doing is to the hand. And it's bouncing right back to who? You. All right? So, with all of that being said, it is so, so be it. And ah, shame. All right? Oh, Sorry, y'all. Let me cut this music down. All right. So, here we go. We are on the sign of Sagittarius. Bam! There it is, Sag. There it is. All right? All right. So, what we got going on, Sag, today is we got what is... I asked I ask God, I asked the divine, whoever you want to call it. I asked, what is getting ready to change the dynamics of Sagittarius life? What is doors is getting ready to open? What is getting ready? Because something is getting ready to pop off because of all of this black magic, jealous, envy, all this stuff is being targeted and projected. But why? Well, what what's going on? We getting ready to find out. All right, we are gonna get the tea. Now, each sign, each sign has something different that's about to pop off. But for you, you got love. Your overall energy is the yin and the yang. The yin and the yang is getting ready to join together. The yin has um, has uh, trans, uh, transformed into wholeness. The yang has transformed to wholeness, and now it's time to join together and to advance and transform um, together, to transform together and go on to do what they are destined and purposed to do in this lifetime. All right. So I've been getting downloads. I've been, I, if you go back and look at the readings, it's always Sagittarius. You getting ready to get this, you getting ready to get that. Um, things about to open up and it's the same scenario here, but it's something different. Because what I feel, the energy off this card is that this time, those other um, readings where I said, oh, this is getting ready to happen. And, so, and a lot of them was about love, about money, about um, you getting ready to just, but now it's like the energy is different. 
that energy was informing you, was getting you to prepare, getting you to get in the mindset of receiving, getting you to, hey, yeah, let me get this together. Let me get my mind right. Let me, you know, declutter my home. Let me open up space for this person or to come in, this significant person, because this particular time is a lifetime. It's not a karmic. It's not here to teach you a lesson. You guys are these two yin and yang in this particular instant is they're going to learn life lessons together now they have had the time of separation but now it's time to come together and we all know with common sense even though you're in a relationship or even though you live in life every every time you live every day that you live it's a lesson to learn everything every day that you live is something that you got to do every day that you live it's always something it doesn't matter if you with your soulmate or not it's just that these two people are coming together to learn like to learn the rest of their rest of their lessons together all right, the yin and the yang coming together. Now, I'm getting I'm getting this download as well. The people that and let me let you know this. This is why I'm getting this. The people who are throwing shade, throwing dark magic, throwing all of these different things to you because they already knew this person was coming in. They already know that this person coming in. They just don't know who and they don't know when, but they know that this process is coming. The yin and the yang is coming together. All right. Or the yang and the yin, whatever, which way you are, is coming together. The time is right. Divine timing is getting ready to align. But the thing about it. As these people are on this, has clicked on this video, wanted to know how to sabotage a Sagittarius or vice versa. Sagittarius, you might, no, you're not, no, trying to, because a Sagittarius is not going to come to their own reading to sabotage themselves. Or you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. That could be it too. But anyway, if you hear to try to find out information about how to sabotage this. Let me tell you something. The rest of this reading, let me tell you something. You don't waste your time. Don't waste your time because I'm telling you this particular time, this particular moment, this particular issue, this particular um, energy, it's not to be played with. You played with it back then in 2021, but this year it's nothing to be played with. You will risk your you will risk your life and cloaking yourself and trying to hide and put a protection around. That ain't gonna work because this is divinely orchestrated and it's in divine timing. So before in 2021, it wasn't it wasn't the time wasn't right. So you throwing black magic, it just enhanced. God just let you do what you're going to do because the time wasn't right. Even though you're going to get karma because you have no business interfering with these people. So you're going to get karma for that. But if you come and threaten this during divine timing and the divine has said it's so, it is time. You can risk your life. Because the karma from the past and the karma that will be on this issue right now, you don't want to play with it. This is the, you wasn't in divine timing then, but it's divine timing now. So that's why spirit is, is making me say this. Because here's the moon, right? This is no longer to be hidden. It was hidden. It was uh, in, two, in 2021, you was able to delay, thinking you delayed because it wasn't time. But there, this is coming out. This is no longer the moon. This is no longer going to be under the moon. It's going to be revealed. This, comp, this couple is no longer going to be under uh, living in a subconscious and, and going to the 5D to meet. They're going to meet right here in the 3D. And that means in the spiritual realm, and this is reality, the 3D. 
So this right here is going to come out of hiding. Their subconscious is going to wake up and they are going to be able to meet and be able to commune and be able to come together in spite of what people, places, and things do. You can do new moon magic. You can do full moon magic. You could do uh, voodoo, hoodoo, santeria. You could do strong. But at the end of the day, these people already, already have been through the black magic by themselves. So them coming together, your black magic is in, irrelevant because it doesn't stop what is divinely ordered. What you did in the past, you're not getting ready to do here. It's not going to be delayed. It's coming out of hiding, coming to the forefront, being able to come out and be who we supposed to be together. This says intuition. It says subconscious. It says fantasy. It says romance. You're not going to be able to stop it. It all of this was going on in the 5D, the spiritual realm. These people were meeting in the spiritual realm. As above, as below. Right? So what's happening, what was happening in the 5D is getting ready to be revealed in reality. It's about to be reality. So it's nothing that you stopping. You thought you were stopping something back then, but these people actually was loving each other and communing their relationship in the 5D. But now divine timing said, hey, it's time. The work need to be done. It's things that need to be done. So it's irrelevant what your black magic, what you want, your jealousy, your envy, what you want to try to stop. That's irrelevant. Because when it's time, it is nothing. No power, no principality, no demon, no evil, evil one, negativity, evil eye. It's not going to work. Okay? Because... The divine, the most high God trumps anything that's negative, anything that's evil. He is the most high over all and what he say go. This says affection. This says recognition. This says invitation. It says sensuality. It says artistic and it says divine feminine. Sag, get ready. This is 22, the master number, which goes into 224, which is stability. So you're about to have a very, very passionate, you're about to have a duality. You're about to have uh, twos is duality, um, partnership. You're about to have a committed partnership. You're going to have something that's real, something that's going to form into something real, permanent, and substantial. Uh, that no one will be able to, no one will be able to touch you. Okay. Somebody, oh, okay. So yeah, somebody's getting ready to be all in their emotions. This is Pisces energy, which we got the moon right here. So water. So you could be dealing with a water sign. This could be water issues. This is a, um, a Scorpio, uh, Cancer, or Pisces, and here's Pisces energy right here. So Pisces is significant here, okay? So, um, but it can be any water sign. It could be any sign. You know I don't be doing all that, but it's here, so I'm going to say it, all right? So it says during the winter months, okay? So you're going to meet this person during the winter months, which is right now, okay? Um and then within six to nine months, because this gives you time, within six to nine months, you guys will be able to, um, you're going to be able to, you're going to be together. Okay, it's going to happen quick because your soul is going to recognize each other. And when your souls recognize each other, it trumps all this other stuff. You know, uh, this, this and that. You know, when your souls recognize who the other soul is, they know them. And, and you just be in a relationship. It's just that simple. Um, and somebody is going to be in their feelings about this situation. 
very sensible, uh, very sens sensitive, tender. They're going to be upset about this situation. And this card says the moon. So you got two moons here. All right. You got two moons. Okay. So we have 15 minutes. So we got to get it in. Right. Let me get it in. Okay, Sag. I talked about love. You got love coming. A lot of Sagittarius are not, are not interested in love. A lot of Sagittarius is not even putting a mindset on love. They're working, trying to, um, to build their uh, uh, financial, they're working towards financial security. They're thinking about their future. They're working to plan out. They're doing things. They got other things that they got to do. But let me just let you know that while you are doing these other things, this person is going to come in regardless of what you got going on. Because again, this trumps anything else so just know when this person comes in it's not going to be your normal person it's not going to come in the way normal people come in it's going to be different it's going to um flow different when you see this person this person is going to be different this person could be very young younger than you this person could be very old older than you not your average not your not your average average type sag you're not, you know, and you, and sad, you will dis disregard this person. Say, mm -mm, no, this ain't my type. Don't do that. Don't do that. Give everybody a chance. Use your discernment. Use your third eye. Be wise. Because at this partic particular time, you, this situation is fertile. You're getting ready to come into that big, that big dollar. You bought you, all that work that you've been doing, all this planning and working towards your goals and sacrificing, going without, you know, because for the bigger goal, the door is right, was was right here, but this door is getting ready to expand, it's about to open. Something is about to blow up, something is about to happen for you. This, These two things, people have been spending big money, big money to prevent you to have. To prevent this to come into your reality. This could very well mean that this person here that's coming in is going to have money. They're going to be wealthy. Or when this comes together, when you when you guys come together, it's going to, the energy but that you and this person possess is going to bring wealth. Some type of wealth is, is tied to this situation. Okay? So... That's one of the signs. If the person is wealthy, then you that will should trigger. It don't ha they don't have to be wealthy when you meet them. Just know that when you they have the ability, they have the mindset, and when you're connected with you, it's gonna make it go. It's gonna shoot off. If this person is lazy, they don't have a good worth ethic. They trying to run games and play games. That ain't your per that ain't this person. This person is going to be serious and serious minded, business minded. They're going to have goals and ambitions. They're going to have been and had something going for them and they ready to expand. And that's where you come in. Your energy and their energy is going to go and expand and is going to build wealth because the divine is going to bless it. All right. Got to go. <laughs> All right. So this person is going to come in now, right? Bringing, uh, bringing flowers. Um, this person is going to be very happy. It's, um, uh, this person is going to be happy with you. Um, want to bring harmony to your life. Not they're gonna. Um, when you're around this person, you're gonna feel so much peace. You're gonna feel like you can be able to um, wusa. You don't have. You can just be yourself. It's going to be. This person is going to be handsome or beautiful, um, creative. Um, this person might come in bearing gifts, want to give you gifts, want to give you their time, their attention, because that's that's a gift. Um, this person is going to love you and love you open openly. You don't have to worry about no... You know how um, in the past people were scared to come and talk to you, intimidated by you, um, intimidated by um, your wisdom, your success. It's none of that. This person is, is not intimidated. This person is not going to have a problem with you. They're going to be very warm and full of gratitude and thankful for you. 
Um, and lastly, okay, so lastly, this person going to come in. They're going to come in full throttle. <laughs> full throttle with stallion. They're going to come in hot and heavy because they breaking free of people, places, and things. You know what? This might not even be people. This may be energy. The energy when you guys connect, it's going to be really wild because it's been so much resistance and so much negativity and so much thrown at it that when you both come together, it's it's like magic it's gonna you guys it's gonna be wild or right? strong emotions desire driving force unbridled sexual energy freedom unleash the inner beast bam and there it is so all of this is just confirmation that the time is coming and let me just let you know it don't matter because you got the projected and you got the protected. The projected is trying to stop the protected from moving forward and going on with their life. But you know that projected, you're not going to be able to stop this one. This is your time to buy out gracefully and go and ask for forgiveness from whoever you worship and, or forgive yourself. Ask for forgiveness to this other person. You don't have to actually ask them. You could just do it spiritually. Disconnect from this and move on with your life. This is your chance. Spirit is giving you a chance because if you continue to if you continue to go down the route to project negative energy, try to stop, block, black magic, voodoo, hoodoo, try to do whatever you can to stop this from happening, the results is going to be detrimental to you, your health, your uh, your bloodline. It's a lot on the line right now. And I'm going to leave it right there. It's because the choice is yours. You can bow out gracefully. I ain't in this mess. I don't know you. I don't know your situation. I'm just giving you the message. You need to take heed. To, this is your time to bow out gracefully. Because the person that you're projecting all this stuff to, they know you've been, they know you've done it, but they're not, in, they're not get feeding any more energy into you. So if you bow out gracefully now and move on with your life, take your focus off this person and move on with your, you'll have a clean break. That person is not even giving you any more of their time or attention. You do the same and allow the divine to do what they're going to do with this person so they can, so you can get ready to go through your process. Okay? All right. There it is. That has been your reading, Sagittarius. My ear is ringing, so that tells me that I just told you the truth. I'm telling you the truth. You need to, whoever you are. I don't know who it is. It could be Sagittarius. It could be another person. Whoever's clicked on here and got that message and it and it resonates with you, then there it is, okay? I, my ears is ringing, okay? So hit the comments. Let me know how I did. If it didn't resonate, hit an emoji to let me know that you're still rocking with me, okay? All right. So with that being said, thumbs up, thumbs down, just thumbs the video, all right? It helps the channel. Um, share, share, share. Put it on your websites, your blogs, your vlogs. Uh, put it out there, okay? Um, it helps, okay? Don't keep the information for yourself. Always share so somebody else can be can have get a blessing or somebody else can get a breakthrough. You never know, okay? Um, and hit the description box. All of the information is there. Hit the description box for social media. It's there as well. All right. Hit the notification. So if I go live, which I will be going live soon, go live. And then if I um, do a collective read. Um, so I just did a collective read. You need to check it out. Somebody like you. And it's some strange folks, but it's somebody up in there that do like you. You may know who it is, all right? So go check it out. I did a collective read. Go check it out, guys. All right, so with all of that being said, okay, I'm sending you much love, much healing energy to you, and Trinity is 